Hello all, my name is Krish and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, I'm going to create a playlist on deep learning and wherein I'll be explaining all everything, all the concepts in deep learning and all the different types of neural network models and architecture. Uh, this particular playlist was basically requested by most of my subscribers to, every, to explain everything of deep learning from scratch. So the first topic that we are going to basically discuss today is basically about the neural network architecture. And then we will be discussing some of the base models like artificial neural network, convolutional neural network and the RNN that is called as recurrent neural network. After this gets completed, so as soon as I complete the theoretical part of artificial neural network, I will also be showing you the practical implementation with the help of various libraries like TensorFlow, Keras and PyTorch. I will be taking the use cases from Kaggle and I will be solving all these particular use cases. I will be uploading all the code in the GitHub. So please diligently follow this particular playlist if you want to become a pro in deep learning and you want to, you know, if you are planning to switch your jobs, it will be definitely be helpful. So, let me just uh, discuss about ANN and CNN and RNN uh, because these are the base models first of all. Uh, before going uh, ahead in understanding ANN and CNN and RNN, we will first understand what exactly is deep learning. So deep learning is a technique which basically mimics the human brain. So in 1950s and 60s, uh, researchers and scientists thought that can we make a machine learn and work like how we human actually learn and you know that we will be learning from the basically from the environment with the help of our brain you know our brain has such a capacity that can learn various things very quickly so so the scientists and researchers thought can we make the machine learn in the same way so that is where the deep learning concepts came and that led to the invention of something called as neural networks neural networks the first simplest type of neural network of something called as perceptron perceptron but there were some problems in the perceptron because the perceptron or the neural network were not able to learn very properly you know because of the concepts that were applied but later on in 1980s uh, uh, a researcher or a scientist or a teacher is basically my teacher also because i've learned a lot of things from him who is basically called as jeffrey hinton he invented the concept of something called as back propagation. Back propagation. Because of this back propagation, the ANN, CNN, and the RNN became so efficient that many companies are now using it. Many people are using it. Many people have developed a lot of applications which are efficiently working because of Jeffrey Hinton and his concepts of back propagation. So uh, we will discuss all about what, what is back propagation as we go in the upcoming videos. But in this particular video, we we'll just understand the basic neural network architecture. So to begin with, guys, uh, understand. Suppose I, 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 when I, when I, when I was a kid and I first time saw or a dog or a dog or a cat, right? At that time, those inputs I was not able to directly distinguish. Nobody can uh, directly distinguish if you are directly seeing an object for the first time because you will not know what, whether that is a dog or a cat. Right? But some of the information will basically getting from someone like suppose if I take that my family members and my parents explain me that okay what is the basic difference between dogs and cats so they provided the features they told that okay cat has some pointy nose you know or sorry pointy ears it has some different types of eyes colors and it is usually small so this three information and apart from seeing the color of the cat and all those kind of information I basically got ingested. I got my brain got trained with respect to those features now i am able to distinguish what is a cat and what is a dog so this way only we can also make a neural network architecture learn you know by providing those features ingesting those features and each and every neuron present in that neural network will learn those information and actually give you the output and with the help of back propagation also it can train itself to learn new things so to begin with see as i'm get, ingesting the features through my sensory organs currently it is my eyes so that layer is basically my input layer. So here, the first layer of the neural network is basically the input layer. Now input layer will have this kind of nodes which indicates that if there are features present in this. So these are my feature 1, this will be my feature 2 and this will be my feature 3. Suppose 3 feature I am trying to provide this to my uh, neural network architecture. So this becomes my input layer. Now over here in this particular example, I am actually providing 3 features and it can have any number of features over here. Then my second layer, after that particular information is passed through my eyes, right? it reaches the hidden layer. Now hidden layer is, can have any number of neurons because see, now hidden layer, all this information from my eyes is getting passed through all the neurons. There is some pre-processing happening in the neurons but it passes through layers. 
and each layer it can have any number of layers here for just simplicity and for example i'm just drawing one hidden layer with four to five neurons but it can have any number of neurons also so this layer is basically my hidden layer so this will be my hidden layer and this all are neurons this i'll say it as nodes this i'll say it as neurons okay because these neurons are very important because there's a lot of processing that is happening in these neurons which i'll explain you in the next uh, video of this particular playlist on it then remember as the information as the feature passes through my eyes it goes through all the neurons right get passed to all the neurons so this features will get passed to all the neurons and this particular line is very important guys so because i'll explain you what this line actually specifies everything will be explained uh, as we go ahead with this particular playlist so this particular information passes through all the neurons simple all the neurons right so this all information is getting passed to all the neurons in the hidden layer and then some kind of preprocessing happens over here and then finally we get the output we get the output and this is basically my output layer output layer it can be any number of outputs also i can draw multiple suppose it is a multi classification that many nodes i can create if it is a binary classification then i i need to just specify one uh, node over here which uh, basically based on probabilities you will be basically getting what is the output and this particular output will specify whether that object is a dog or a cat right and this is basically called as your output layer now this is the simple uh, neural network architecture and when i say neural network actually architecture this actually resembles something called as artificial neural network convolutional neural network has a theoretical different theoretical concept uh, it will also be having this kind of neural network but you will be having other layers also which i'll be discussing in my uh, future classes but just understand this is a basic neural network architecture of an ana now in my next video we'll try to understand these lines that are connected what happens what type of preprocessing happens in each and every neurons okay uh, with respect to this neurons that are present over there and uh, there is also a concept called as activation functions uh, what is the use of that activation function everything will be explained in the upcoming videos and we'll also discuss all the different kind of activation functions also so uh, this is the basic neural network architecture you have the input layer hidden layer and output layer you understood about perceptron jeffrey intern back propagation uh, don't worry about the back propagation i'll just explain it but if you want to read about jeffrey intern then just go and search in the google he is the head of google brains uh, he works uh, in google currently and lot of lot of uh, you know research papers he has written i have learned most of the deep learning from his uh, classes uh, that were available in youtube and all so i hope you like this particular video uh, make sure you subscribe my channel if you like this particular video share with all your friends i'll see you all in the next video uh, god bless you all